Step six, remove the legend. Um, I had to open my Excel just a little bit bigger so you could see our legend, which is down here at the bottom. If you um, highlight, it should tell you that's what it is. There it is. There it is. Oh. I am going to click on it once, and then I'm just going to go up to my delete button up in the top right-hand corner of my keyboard, and it's gone. Step six is complete. Please save. Step seven, add data labels for the percent a month line. So over here on the right is our percent of month legend and this orange line is what we're going to try to add data labels to. If we click the chart itself, our chart elements box will pop up and we click that plus. Then we have come down here to chart elements and we click data labels and you'll see that it's it's giving you values for both the number of downloads and the percentage of monthly downloads. And we're looking for the percentage of monthly downloads. So we're going to click that arrow. And it's also asking us to position the data labels above. On data labels, I'm going to go to more options. And over here in value, I'm going to unclick value. And when I do that, the values for the number of downloads go away. I want to come back here and go to data labels again. Oops. I lost them and they brought back. Isn't that fun? I want them on the outside end. And um, I'm going to go back to my more options and undo that. That value so we we have that one removed so I'm in more options it does not want to click for me and and now we have just the percentages on step eight we're asked to select a range from a5 to e11 so we need to go back up to our original data. So A5 to E11. Oops. A5 to E11, which is right there. So we're going to include weekly totals. We're going to have our genre titles and we're going to include weekly totals. And what I did was I clicked in cell A5 and I drug my mouse to cell E11. And it says insert spark lines. So we're going to go to the third tab that's called insert. And then we're going to go over to the sixth panel, which is called spark lines. And spark lines is a way to plot our data. So we're going to click line. And what it's asking us to do is select the range that you want to make these data lines for, which we did A5 to E11. And now you want to insert the lines. And if you'll do it over here in the summary, it will it's kind of cool. It will give you this small visual indication of your data. So our location range is actually going to be where we'll click H5 to H11 right down here. And that is going to take our data and make little bitty line charts. So for step eight, we click OK. And we have our spark lines. Well done. I'm going to save. Now in step nine, it asks us to apply the spark line style accent to. So we're going to come up here to we are in design because we added spark lines. And we're going to click on our pull down menu and look for style accent 2. As we hover our mouse over, it tells us which one of these it is. Here's spark lines 1, here's spark lines 2. And spark line 2, darker 50% happens to be our first one in our second column. And we're going to click that. 
and it's given us kind of some color in step 10 it says show the high point of your spark line markers and make the high point red and the low point blue so we're going to come up here to marker colors and we're going to click on high point and we're going to click our high point as red so the top point of our graph should give us a red dot and we're going to come back to highlight markers and go to our low point and make our low point um, blue and so our bottom of our graph should be blue. And that's the end of step 10.